Hi, welcome to Ranger Country. I'm Peter. I'm Lawrence. And we're here to talk about the best of British, as I like to call it. Now, we're calling it the best of British because we've got three British made, British assembled, air rifles, round about the same ballpark yeah, roughly. price range. Yeah. And what do we have? So we've got the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter, regulated. We've got the BSA R10 Thermol, or R10, and we've got the Brocock Sniper XR. So we're all regulated here, aren't we? These are all the regulated ones, yeah. Okay. So, let's talk about some figures, shall we? Which is the lightest gun? The lightest is this Brocock here. So it's got the big carbon fibre bottle on it, which is very, very light in itself. So this is about 3.3 kilos. Next one is your air arms in a nice little middle ground. It's 3.4 kilos. So it's very, very similar weight to that. And the R10 is 3.6 kilos. So while then there's not much between them, weigh slightly different, they will feel slightly different in the shoulder. Okay. Shot count. Mm -hmm. What what can we expect out of um what can we expect out of these for a start? I mean this this has got a huge carbon fibre cylinder. And these are normally a lot higher pressure, aren't they? Um, what can we expect out of the Brocock? So the Brocock will give you about 380 shots in 177. About, wow. About 420 in 22. Getting on for a tin of pellets. That's, yeah, it's getting on Yeah, nearly a whole tin of pellets. Wow. I mean, the, the R10's not far behind. The R10 will give you 280 and then 340 in 22. Respectable. Two, two, two. Respectable, yeah. Now the air arms is lacking compared to these two in terms of shot count. You only get about 90 in the 177 and 120 in the 22. But even still, I mean, 90 shots is still a good view. That's it's not bad at all, is it? In 177, no. 90 shots. That's nine magazines for what? So absolutely. Yeah. And we know these from experience. That is nine on the money, full magazines, before it drops off the regulator. Yeah. Now we have here. Two are in laminate, so we've got the Brocock in laminate, and we've got the Ultimate Sporter in laminate, <clears throat> excuse me, and we've got the R10 in walnut. Now this is interesting because the, the, the adjustable cheek piece on the R10 is black, and that's exactly what happens with the Air Arms, the Ultimate Sporter, isn't it? Yeah. Walnut stock and black adjustable cheek piece. Not everybody's cup of tea, I like them. They're, they, I think it grows on you. Some some people love it, don't they? Some complaints have been, oh, why why isn't it all walnut? But then thinking about it, I mean, certainly for me, oh, I quite like it in the black. Like you, like you say, you you like it in the black as well. It breaks up the lines. You've got black on the top here. You've got black on the top here, and then you've got the walnut underneath. Saves any changes of grain. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's that's one thing that some people do complain about in a in a adjustable cheek piece the grain doesn't often match up very well. I know this one, the Brocock, is a side lever action. Mm -hmm. So is the Air Arms on the side here. But the Air, the, 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 the BSA. R R10 is still bolt, bolt action. action. With no option for a side lever, which is interesting. Whether that's one thing to come or not, we don't know. But what's it like? What's it like to actually shoot? I mean, the, the, the side levers, that is superb. Absolutely yeah. superb. Um, I'm going to cop that, so I'm going to fire it off, going to see how loud it is. Not bad at all. Shrouded barrel. Note that the other two have got moderators fitted, haven't they? Mm -hmm. So I'll grab the next side lever. So this is the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter. This again is a so side lever, so that is again very easy to load, very easy to cock. Brand new out of the box, so the magazines are still. <laughs> um, it's not as uh, it requires a little bit more physical effort to cock than the broker. That is certainly sublime, isn't mm. it? And we'll fire that one off. Pretty quiet again. So that's a little bit quieter, but as you say, that has got a moderator with it as standard, and that's Air Arms Q Tech uh, moderator. That's their, their more, more expensive one. BSA R10. Just take the magazine out. Mm, quite similar to the uh, Ultimate Sport, I feel. Mm. 
I think that was the quietest of the three. Do you? It seemed to me, certainly from where I understood. Okay. So what else do we have in these three guns? Well, speaking of that mag that you've just taken out, what have they got with them? The Brocock Sniper. That comes with single shot tray. I know a lot of people prefer the single shot tray. Does it increase accuracy? Maybe. It's You certainly get through less pallets, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, so it comes with a single shot tray. It comes with a multi-shot magazine. Also comes with this handy bottom rail as well. Um, fits your bipod onto there quite easily. You've got the fill adapter cover, three little magnets on there. Just pulls off, clips back on. Safety catch in the trigger guard, little flick across. So it works well for right-handed people. So that's on, so that's safe. Flick it across with your forefinger. Guns live. What about the what about the BSA lines? Yeah, so your safety catch is on the side here. I'll show it to there. So you flick it back to safe. Very much BSA, that isn't it? That's the, the old ultras and you know where you are. When it's on S, the trigger won't move at all. Push it forward to fire and you're on. Not very, if you're right handed, not very easy to, to take the safety catch off with your right hand. No, it's not, because it's on the other side as a right hander. But then your rear arms, you, the safety is just on the trigger there. So, as a right handed person, I can flick that off really, really easily. And the magazine capacities the air arms is 10 round, you get two 10 round magazines with them. With the BSA, again, you get two 10 round magazines with them. With the Brocock, you get one 13 round in 177, uh, or a 11 round in 22. And the single shot tray. And the single shot tray. Now, I notice on the bottom here, Lawrence, of the Ultimate Sporter, we've got a rail. Can we just show that to the camera? Mm -hmm. Now, we've got a stud in this one already, haven't we? Now you can fit different accessories into that rail, can't we? Yeah, or even or even indeed onto that stud there. Yeah. While you've got that turned as well, I'm looking at this gauge. Now that's a very different gauge. I can't see a needle on that uh, on that gauge, that manometer as they call them. No, so it's got half of it is green, half of it is red, and in the middle is a black line. You can't obviously see that there is a needle on there. In the middle of it is a black line, which is where your pressure is. Super, super easy to read. I can see, depending on how much green I'm seeing or how much red I'm seeing, I know how much air is in it. So this is about half and half, so it's about half full. Lo and behold, it's just from factory. It's got about 180 bar in it. The R10 gauge is underneath, colour-coded, got green and red segments. Mm -hmm. Easy to read. The Brocock. I think we're sports here with two gauges, aren't we? We are indeed. Colour coded gauge, which is your well, is your important one. That's your contents of the uh, air reservoir. Um, colour coded green section. Yeah, colour coded again. Yellow is too little. Red is too much. Green is Goldilocks. Also, Goldilocks. <laughs> Where did that one come from? <laughs> okay, so we have a power adjuster here as well, don't mm -hmm. we? And this is the only one with a power adjuster. Yeah, these two are both fixed at their powers, but that has three power settings. Why would you want a different power in your rifle? Per personally, for me, most of the time, I'm going to be leaving it on full power. But if you're, say, shooting targets at 10 yards or you're shooting vermin in barns or that sort of thing, you don't want to go through the roof, you can turn that down to the lower power setting, whichever one you need you're not going to go through the roof, or you're going to get more shots out of it, or whatever you would need it for. We have seen these actually being used on the range, playing tricks on other members, haven't we? That has been a... Um, somebody leaves the rifle on the bench, leaves it safe, goes for a cup of coffee, comes back, and somebody has fiddled with the power settings. It takes them ages to work out what's going on, doesn't it? I have to say that's one of my personal favourites. When, when they've just left, you can just knock it, knock it down one power setting. And cruel, I think. Right. Cruel. 
<laughs> okay, triggers. Mm -hmm. How do the triggers perform? Well, we've shot all three of those, haven't we? All, all three of these, haven't we? Yeah. What do you what do you like in each trigger? They're all very crisp. These are all obviously not starter guns, so they've got your next level of triggers, they've got the next level of action qualities. The the triggers are all very clean, all very sharp. The BSA is adjustable for the blade. Yeah, you can adjust yeah, the, the angle of the blade. Yeah, that's you? it. The blade angle. Whereas the other two aren't, but they're both very, very crisp. Now I don't want to pick uh favourites. Um but the air arms is definitely the best, isn't it? Do you think? I think so. What in the trigger? In the trigger, in the trigger specifically, yeah. I think they're very, very close, but uh yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't, that would be a hard one for me, to be honest. I mean they're they're all multi-adjustable for, for both travel and for, for weight. I know with the brocock, I think we have to take the stock off that, don't we, to adjust the one of the settings on the trigger, I think we have to take the stock off. I know yeah. we've had to do that on the range before. You think the air arms has got the got the edge on the trigger, do you? Just very, very slightly, I think so. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. But I'll... again, they're all very, very accurate. At this sort of money, they're, every gun's going to be very, very accurate, very yeah. consistent. Yeah, definitely. If it's not consistent, what sort of warranty do we have? Well, with the Brocock, we have two year warranty. With the BSA R10, we have two years warranty. With air arms, we have three year warranty. Very, very nice. Mm. Three, so, year, three years is a long time, isn't it? It is. To, to stand by your products for three years, it, it is an awful long time, yeah. It gives you confidence, I think, in the product. Yeah. I and mean, it's all British made. They're, they are made in Hailsham in Sussex. And we've been around the factory, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Both factory yeah. trained. I've, we've been around all the factories, to be honest. I've been around the BSA factory and we've both been around the Brocock factory, mm -hmm. haven't we? So, yeah, we, we, we know them all. Um, do you have a preference? We, we shouldn't really be asking this, should we? I don't think I have a preference. Um, I very much like the shortness of the Brocock. It's about six inches shorter than the other two. Um, I very much like that, and I very, very much like the extra capacity of that. I very, very much like the Ultimate Sporter because of that trigger. Obviously, it's all English. You can feel the quality. And I very, very much like the R10. I like the bolt action. It's back to basics. Again, they're all adjustable triggers, uh, all adjustable stocks, sorry. So there's not much to pick between those. They're all very comfortable. I don't think there's much to choose between them all, to be quite honest. Which do you think is the most ergonomic? I like that. I think the R10's got... Got some beating. That's very, very nice. The, you're right. The, the thumb just comes to rest on that on that cutout on the top there. Mm. This is definitely a skinnier pistol grip. That's def The R10 is definitely a chunkier pistol grip. And I think the Ultimate is somewhere in the middle. Mm. So maybe depending on size of your hands and that sort of thing, you're going to have a preference for... for one or the other. Quite quite rough stippling on there for grip. That, that's nice. I like that. Standard checkering, traditional checkering on the R10. And again we've got stippling on the on the laminate of the brocock. So where do these sit, Lawrence? Where where do these sit in the uh in the market place of rifles? These are your Certainly from our experience, these tend to be your, maybe your next jump up. If you're down the range sort of every week, every week or two, maybe you've started on one of the beginners or one of the starter guns, sorry, maybe something like an RM8 or a Gamera GX40. This tends to be, we've found, the next sort of jump up around the sort of £1,000-ish mark. Um, that's where you're going to get to. It's going to be a big jump up in quality from your, your RM8s and your GX40s. Um, but they're all going to be very, very similar in terms of quality from there. What stock options are available in these rifles? Yep, so we'll, we'll start off with Brocock. So this comes in a lovely laminate stock, as we've got here. 
It also comes in a black synthetic stock. Is that the soft touch? No, it's not. Okay. It's just the hard synthetic. Mm. Uh, really, really durable, really strong. I think durable is the word with that, mm. isn't it? It's a, it's a very tough... Like, I think this is the most popular popular stock option that we... Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very close, I think, between the two. Yeah. 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 Uh, the next one here is the R10. Obviously, it comes in this walnut stock, or it comes in a grey and black laminate stock. Again, very, very nice. Um, we like that. The Ultimate Sporter here comes in this very striking laminate stock with sort of oranges and light colours and dark sort of blues. Um, it also comes in a walnut stock, as we've said, with the sort of black cheek piece as on the R10. And then it also comes in a black, uh, black soft touch stock. That is very nice, actually, that soft touch, isn't it? They're all very, very nice, yeah. yeah. Superb. Not much to choose between the three. No, that, that's really the only choice. Which, which one do you have, isn't it? Which stock do you have on them? Yeah. Last last, last of all, mm -hmm. touch on filling. Here we've got the... Uh, we, we, we touched on the, the fill adapter, and basically that's just your quick coupler, although it is a longer quick coupler. Just clips on there, job done. Magnets to hold that back on when you're finished. BSA R10, R10. Standard fill probe. And for the Ultimate Sporter, traditional Air Arms top hat fill adapter on the front here. Yeah. We shouldn't really do this, Lawrence. What's your favourite? Let's put you on the spot, isn't it? Yes. Um, uh, if I had to choose one, uh, I would probably take the Brocock. Because of the all-roundedness of the bigger shot count, um, I like the shorter. I like it. the fact that it's a lot shorter. I think it's a lot more comfortable in the shoulder. So for those reasons, I would have the Brocock, personally. Why? What would you go for? The Brocock is superb, as you say. The Ultimate Sporter is superb. The R10 is superb. You'd have all three. Ultimate Sporter. Ultimate Sporter. I think. I think it's a, it's 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 so hard a choice though. Yeah. It really is. Absolutely. It's, They're yeah. all very good guns. Superb. I think that just about wraps it up for us today. It certainly does. Thank you very much for watching. We'll Thank see you. In the next video.